Standing in front of lavender fields in the Côte de Luberon, the artist, aged 60, might reach out a hand and touch the canvas. And, back in time, his 17-year-old body may do the same. Encouraged by an art teacher at school, this tall, fair-haired youngster from Yorkshire, who loves painting but has no aspirations to be an artist, has won a bursary to travel to the south of France. He is standing alone on a hillside, having pedalled a bike laden with easel, boards and oil colours 40 miles to the top of the hill, under a blaze of July sunlight never experienced in the north of England. Yesterday, exhausted by heat and hunger, after many hours of cycling up steep roads in search of the youth hostel he has booked, this boy sat down at the side of the road and shed helpless tears. But now he is looking at fields of lavender and he is painting. It is his first time away from home. It is his first time seeing the fierce colours of the Provençal landscape. He is having trouble getting the precise colour of the lavender fields. He is trying to remember what he has learned from the book about the painter Oscar Kokoschka given to him by his art teacher trying to understand how to make the painting feel like a unified whole, with the same light shining on everything, so that what he sees here in the foreground is in the same world, with the same sun shining on it as what he sees at the back. And how he can tie all that together with what happens in the sky, quite aside from making sure that the hills are exactly where they should be. He is completely absorbed. He does not stop painting till dusk falls. When he cycles back to the youth hostel tonight, he will put the painting on a window ledge. He will look at it and think about it. Tomorrow he will paint another. He does not yet know that making paintings will become his life.